gangsters, baby. We're all fascinated with crime. Always have been. Plenty of TV, drama, movies, even video games center around the seedy underbelly of the world. And it's not limited to just the United States. Our obsession with tales of wrongdoing reaches all the way over to the land of the rising sun with the latest installment of the Yakuza series, Yakuza Zero. Yakuza Zero stars its two mainstays, Kiru and Majima. Kiru is framed for murder and leaves his family to clear his name. Meanwhile, Majima is doing everything he can while running a nightclub to get back into the family he was once banished from. The stories feature tons of twists and turns that keep players on the edge of their seat, and going into much detail past that would be spoiler territory. The narrative is accompanied by pretty visuals that, while do look good in some places, show their age slightly in others. Yakuza 0 can be forgiven for its weaker spots given that it was on PlayStation 3 and released almost two years ago prior in Japan. The world is littered with little details that set the tone for the 1980s. Arcades are abundant with old playable Sega games, characters use pages to contact one another, and the streets are adorned with bright neon lights that grab your attention. Despite some stiff animation here and there, Yakuza 0's seemingly traditional big city, bright lights approach has enough landmarks that stick out after passing by just a few times. It doesn't take long to get a hold on both locations and steamrolling your way through to your next destination. There's only so much I can say about the audio in Yakuza 0, seeing as I don't speak Japanese and I'm not familiar with 80s J-pop and J-rock. The soundtrack itself is quite good. Depending on your fighting style, which we'll talk more about later, the music when fighting will change. The songs are full of energy and add intensity to the already brutal fights. All the dialogue retains the original Japanese recordings and they sound great, which normally I'd prefer an English voice cast, but retaining the original actors gives the game an almost more authentic feel to the world that the title is set in. In a very dry, bare-bones sense, Yakuza 0 is a beat-em-up with RPG elements. To say that's all the game is, however, is not giving it enough credit, especially when you'll be doing just as much of this as you do this. Yakuza 0 is a very cutscene, text, and drama-heavy game. The main narrative about Kiru and Majima is a mostly serious, melodramatic affair. It's well written, but does take a few chapters to really get going. While the pacing is mostly good, there is a lot of over-explanation that's similar to Metal Gear Solid when it comes to exposition. Most of what characters are saying could be condensed down, and it feels like it was drug out to add weight to a situation. Usually it works, in rare cases it doesn't, but never does a scene feel unimportant or out of place. Just a little long-winded at points. Every character is very distinct and likable, especially when it comes down to Kiru and Majima. Both have three different fighting styles to utilize when fighting the gangs of enemies that attempt to jump them in the streets. Some of these clearly work better than others, largely depending on your own personal playstyle. If you're like me and you just want to take your way through the fights, Kiru's beast style is the way to go. Brutal strikes that utilize weapons around the environment completely destroy opponents in no time flat, with finishers that just never get old. You'll see a lot of the same brutal animations in every fight, but the gravity and force behind each hit is just as satisfying as the last time you saw it. Fighting isn't the only thing you'll be doing in Yakuza either. The sheer amount of things to do is staggering. Both cities are littered with goofy side missions that are the complete opposite tone of the main story, and arguably, these are the real gems of the game. These things can range all over the place, from pretending to be a random girl's boyfriend to helping a Michael Jackson parody film thriller by bashing zombies, the side missions in Yakuza 0 go completely off the rails. This is also where the game's humor shines, with some of the most genuinely funny moments that's been in a game in years. Both protagonists have very different sub-games used for making money. Kiru manages and purchases properties, while recruiting staff to gain money from rent and eventually take over the area. Majima manages a club, ensuring hostesses are good to go and guests are happy and having a good time, in turn spending money. The club managing plays similar to Diner Dash, with slightly alternative rules. Both of these games have a staggering amount of depth and will come off as overwhelming at first. After the first time or two though, they make sense and become insanely addicting and lucrative, which is good. Yin is used in the game, most importantly, for upgrading both protagonists' abilities. Each fighting style has plenty of extra moves, health, strength, the whole nine yards to upgrade. And these don't come cheap either. Some upgrades cost hundreds of millions of yen to gain, oftentimes more than that. But it's worth it, just to make attacks and finishers that much more lethal. Not that you need to upgrade much. The combat in Yakuza 0, though fun and satisfying, is fairly easy. It's not mindless, but I rarely found myself losing a fight. Part of this is due to the accessibility of money and constantly keeping health items on hand. 
The other part is how powerful both characters are. There is challenge and plenty of it, but it wasn't often in the story that I found myself having much trouble. Even with everything we've gone over in Yakuza 0, it's only surface level with how much there is here. Bowling, fishing, darts, dating, training, there's so much crammed into this one title that it boggles the mind. Yakuza 0 proves that a $60 price tag can be justified with hours upon hours of things to do. The story itself will take you a good 30 to 40 hours and that's assuming you don't get distracted with the numerous side missions and other options the game has to offer. And believe me, you will and there's nothing wrong with that at all. Yakuza 0 lets you get lost in a world of crime and excess and it's a good place to be.